Ryan shaved his head, and that's why he's wearing a hat right now. No, no, I've just been watching Pokemon. I thought I'd uh, be like Ash Ketchum, uh -huh. you know, he swivels around his hat. Is it a new look you're going for? Yeah, I'm just hiding my hair because... Also, well, stop looking at yourself in the thing and look at the oh, lens. We can, I like, guess. switch it around this way. Does this look better? Or do we look like we're sponsored by North Face? Oh, if only. If only, right? If it gets us a sponsorship, do it. Or Wear it like that. I prefer oh. one sponsor. Yeah. So we've been in self-isolation now together for... For like two years now, all right? For, for about a month. Uh, slightly longer than everybody else has because we decided to start staying indoors earlier rather than later. Um, yeah, so I reckon it's about a month. Yeah, stay safe. And so we thought we would answer your questions because we're in a really good mind space right now. Ryan, what actually is your job? Just curious as a fellow science student. Oh, welcome. Yeah. Welcome fellow science student. <laughs> How happy he is. <laughs> oh, someone like me. My job, well, I'm a data scientist. I'm a consultant data scientist. So I go to companies and show them what to do with their data. Boring. He right? never sells it, but it is cooler than that. Well, he doesn't I, enjoy I, it. I get to work in quite uh, some cool industries. So I've worked in cybersecurity. I've worked in uh, just general government work. I've done... It wasn't general government work, though, was it? It was, it was crime stuff for the government. And then what did I, go? I did some laser stuff, which was pretty cool, with trains and submarines and... That was pretty cool and I fell into doing software engineering, I got pretty good at programming and then I did a physics degree so my maths is pretty good so I, so I fell into statistics and data scientists. Yeah, he's the clever one of the two. I'm not. Well I'm you not. are clever. I am clever. Yeah. Clever Yesterday regrets. he spent his time, you know, his time in the evening spare time. What did you do? I, I built a program <laughs> that could teach itself how to balance a stick. <laughs> Wild. Right? Right. I was playing Call of Duty Warzone and I just kept looking at him like, why are you staring at a stick for so long? So there's an area of machine learning and AI called reinforcement learning that I've never done before. And I thought I'd teach myself. So there you have it. Babies on the way? Your favourite question? No. 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 Not, not for a while. Although I, I, I did think this morning, just because I do think some things, about how we didn't answer it. <laughs> when and did you come up with a good idea? Yeah, I've got a really good idea. Okay, well don't share I'm it. I'm not going to share it. I'll okay. tell you after. You know, Wait, tell you whisper now. it, yeah. <laughs> what? I didn't get any of that. Do it again. <laughs> I'll, I'll be, and no one will hear it. Like, you can just say it. Say, say it out loud and I'll cut it out. That would be easier. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's good, quite good. Okay, that's quite yeah. a good one. We do already have a baby. We have a baby already, don't we, JP? No, right. Oh, sleepy. <laughs> sleepy. Um, the short answer to that is that we have things that we want to do first. We don't feel like we're ready to have a kid yet. But oh. in the next few years, I imagine? No. If you had one piece of advice to be successful in life, what would it be? It depends how you measure success. Yeah, that's true, which is probably actually the key thing. Which oh, I think I, I struggle with a lot. Oh, well, so do I, to be honest. Because I always thought success was money. So I took quite a well-paid job out of university and then it's not something I wanted to do. But, yeah. But it paid, oh, well, I didn't pay that well considering I was moving down south. But uh, it paid well. I think it's a mixture of things. Yeah. That was a really crappy answer. <laughs> right? Uh, it got really deep. <laughs> <laughs> Find yourself. Find yourself, find what you're passionate about, <laughs> and pursue it. How do you survive being together 24-7? Good question. It's not a big change. No, it's <laughs> not at all. Lives. Ryan um, works from home like a few days a week anyway. I work from home most of the time. It feels weirder when we're not together all the time. Yeah. Um, Literally yeah. the only difference is that my, Ryan's at home another few days a week and I actually don't have a lot of work to do so I'm feeling really unmotivated. Um, but that's kind of it, isn't it? That's literally the only difference. And that we aren't going out at the weekends. Yeah, that bit's a bit harder. Bit yeah, because we quite like going out and going to the beach or going out for a meal. Um, so that's the only bit we're missing and not seeing my family. I wonder if we'll do things that. differently after this just appreciating going out. It's gonna be weird to begin with when people start going out. Yeah, but being together 24 seven, yeah, that's fine. 
me not having much work and not seeing my family that's what I'm struggling with and Ryan's just struggling because he needs to get out the house he can't handle just sitting in on weekend no I need to do things yeah even if it's just like a trip to a shop or something <laughs> Shopping that no, much. but you usually are happier if we've suddenly Just gone to that home base or Would something. Would it be nice to have a drive? Yeah. Yeah. He's he's missing his car. <laughs> Pretty much. I want a new car after this. <laughs> we won't get onto that conversation. What's your favourite thing about being married? I mean, it's the same as being together. I don't see a difference in it. There's not a massive difference, except we have this incredible day to remember. Yeah. And it was that's, honestly that's incredible. That's the best thing, you know, <laughs> having that day. Yeah. What, are you, are you taking the mic? Are you being no, serious? No, 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 yeah. Oh, right, yeah. It's like a massive yeah. memory, and it was like perfect. It's the, it's the perfect memory in my head. Yeah. And I think it is for everybody. special is because it was the first time that both our families had really been together. Ryan's family had all travelled down from Newcastle. Every member of our family practically, apart from like your granddad and was that it? Uh, came to our wedding. Um, so yeah, so it was it was absolutely incredible. I I don't, there's not, not much difference in us. Like there's no difference apart from legally I guess. Well, you haven't even changed your name. So no. <laughs> Grace Chris just wanted a party. I just wanted a massive <laughs> party and it was and, and I wanted to be married to you in the fact that I feel like it's probably the one time where you publicly say in front of everybody that I love this human. I quite like the security that you know if anything happens to me you get all my stuff. And vice versa. Yeah. If I want to leave it to them. Right. It's Am I right Amelia and Henry and my mum and dad? <laughs> <laughs> it's harder for you to escape me. It's very true. Yeah, we were very, when we planned the wedding, we were very aware that, like, it's quite an old-fashioned thing to get married in our eyes. Like, there's a lot of, like, sexist traditions to it and things like that. So we kind of cut all that bit out. And so for us, it was just a massive excuse to have a party and celebrate our love. Okay, well, th yeah, but this one's not about you. Are you okay with that? I'll answer it anyway. How was it like growing up with one hand? Well, I, I did struggle to begin with. Did you? Yeah, I did. Mm. Um, I just, you know, like doing normal two hand things, I'd see all the other kids doing them and be like, why can't I be like those two hand kids? So the complete opposite to me then. Yeah. The complete opposite <laughs> to me. Uh, yeah, it was fine growing up with one hand. Um, I don't really think it was that hard or anything. Uh, sometimes I had to prove a few people wrong. It made me very, very competitive, I think. I think that's why I'm so competitive. Um, I like to prove people wrong because of that. And so I tried a lot of things, like rock climbing, water skiing, do it, playing the drums, trumpet. Like, I think I tried more I things people, because of it. People always assume you, like, really struggled and you were, like, bullied and things. Um, I had a few people that said mean things, but I don't know if it counts as bullying, but maybe I just didn't let that, let it hit me that hard. Like, I did have people say mean things to me, occasionally. Did you ever sit there and wish you had two hands at any point? No. No? No. Well, it's kind of an impossible thing, isn't it? So like, yeah, and, and I've never had two hands. I think if you had two hands and you lost a hand, then you would want what you've missed out on because you know what you're missing out on. I don't know. So yeah, so it was pretty, pretty cushy. Yeah, growing up with two hands was pretty... Hard. Yeah. Just yeah. so plain. Yeah. So average. That's yeah. what I thought when I met you. 
I was like, whoa, oh, he is average. He's got two hands. Oh. Boring. <laughs> so there you go. Thanks very much for watching our couples q and If you've got any questions, pop them down below. And if you want to see more of our faces, we do Twitch live streaming together. And if, if you'd like a Ryan solo video, because I know Grace is getting a bit boring these days. It's just like, oh, I've got one hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other channel. I do have a one-handed <laughs> channel. There's a reason why all that content's on the other video, on the and, other channel. And yeah, I'll do a video just for you guys. Oh, that's uh, nice. Just, just let me know what you want in, in the video. I mean, yeah. Or I'm you can just follow that. us on our Twitch, which it, the link is in the description. Maybe do that instead, yeah? Oh, both. Thanks very much, guys. Goodbye. Beautiful.